All right, what's going on guys? Stupid viewer email Saturday night and I've got a doozy for you to, tonight. To some fucking idiot coming on Facebook posting his damn shit. So this really is not about an email, quote unquote email, so to speak. Uh, a lot of you guys might know this story and follow my other channel. Uh, I also posted it on my Facebook and it's become this big fucking blown out of fucking shape fiasco, which I just fucking love because you know why? You call me what you want. But I bring issues to light that I feel either strongly about or shit that I'm pissed about. I keep it real. I'm not going to fucking act like some fake fucking celebrity like the rest of these douchebags on here. I mean, get over yourself. You ain't fucking nobody. Especially when it comes to airsoft. We're playing fucking toy guns. We're playing soldiers with toy guns and you think you're so fucking special. I mean, get the fuck over yourself. And for the, the robo that wrote the original thing... Look at this. We're drinking again on the fucking YouTube channel. He said, oh, you're so unprofessional because you're drinking on camera. Wait a minute. I never said I was professional to begin with. This is an amateur outlet, and then these are amateur videos at best. Even though I've been doing them for six years, they're still fucking amateur videos. I mean, get the fuck over yourself. So anyways, let's get to the meat of this matter. I was uh, Thursday. I have a new show I'm working on, so I was working on some hardware and software things on my YouTube channel. Mainly live streaming. So I figured, what the fuck? We'll just make it live. Nobody watches this shit anyways. You might get 10 or 20 people come on. Uh, I'll just make it live so I know what's going on in real time. So I can test the software and I can test my camera and I can test my... You know, this fucking beautiful microphone and mixing board and shit. So I just let it rip live Thursday night. Didn't think nothing about it. Just putzing around, you know, having a few beers. Kid was away. And what the fuck? So next thing I knew, people started watching. So I fuck, take a break and talk to the people that are watching, get some input. Get a little, you know, how's the audio, the video, video turned out, it looked like fucking shit. So anyways, it, it, it escalated. A few beers and some friends coming by and random people that are called randoms. And uh, we were just having some fun. On my channel, on my professional channel with 90,000 subscribers. <laughs> it's an amateur outlet there. Uh, so anyways, long story short, we had some fucking fun. We were fucking cussing out. We were drinking beer. They were drawing fucking dicks on my face and shit on the, on the chat software. It doesn't matter. It's just having fun. So this fucking robo douche, somebody links me to his post where he's over talking about me on fucking Facebook, right? Rather than just actually come into the chat or... Uh, you know, fucking come in and be a man instead of some little fucking douchebag talking on your little private fucking Facebook with your fucking douchebag buddies. So he comes on and he uh, he says, hey, has anybody seen this meltdown by Crazy NC, man? And that right there pissed me off because I was like, wait a minute, meltdown? We were having some fucking fun. Like, you've never had a couple fucking beers before and had some fucking fun. I mean, God's sakes, you're fucking Canadian. If you're not drinking beers, cussing, and having some fun, then they should kick you the fuck out of Canada. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what fucking Canadians do. That's what Americans do. When I was having a meltdown. <laughs> so anyways, I was like, whatever. Go over there and fucking cuss this douchebag out. And, uh, and then he posts, and this is what really got me. This is, this is when you know somebody's a real fucking moron douchebag. He, uh, and somewhere in my video chat, I just invited everybody on my, on my Google Plus friends list and my YouTube fucking friends list. I invited everybody. Just come into the fucking chat. If you have a camera, a microphone, just come on in. Have fun. Have your, you know... 15 seconds of fame if you want on my channel. I don't fucking give a shit. They're fans. They're friends. They're, they're people. They're just people on fucking YouTube having fun. I mean, we're sitting at home on a Thursday night with nothing to do. Just having a little fun. So the douchebag fucking posts. He posts, oh my God, he literally invited randoms to come on his show. 
I'm like, it's... that's what really pissed me off. Randoms. Am I not allowed to do that? Should I fucking get approval from you, your fucking Canadian Highness? That's the governing, sanctioning, YouTube airsoft sanctioning body? Fuck no, you're a fucking douchebag. What, you think you got a beard? You're somebody? You're a fucking piss ant. all you are. I mean, I don't get that either. Why do people think they're so badass if they got a beard? Okay? If you got a beard and you're over there hunkered down in Afghanistan right now getting shot at, you're a fucking badass. But if you're a fucking airsoft player who's not in the military, has never been in the military, and you got a beard, you're not a badass. You're just a fucking dude with a beard playing with fucking toy guns. I don't understand that either. But that really picks me off that this fucking idiot calls my, you know, my, my fans, my friends, people I've known, these guys have watched my fucking shit for six years. Calls them randoms. Oh my god, he had randoms on there. Yeah. Fucking moron, dude. You better stay in Canada because you come to fucking United States, you lower our IQ by about 50% with your fucking dumbass shit.